Inanimate Objects is the latest album from Atlas Genius. We are joined by Keith and Michael from the band. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Welcome back to San Francisco. Thank you. It's good Thank to you. be back again. It's been quite a while. How are things? Uh, things are great. We are just starting the new tour tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, we released the album about a couple of days ago. Yeah. So. At, the, at this filming, this is quite an exciting time. It's very I feel like as an artist, it, it, it's kind of a culmination. and then you release it to the world to, to sample and, and so do you ever ha have any of those reservations of like oh but wait a minute well that is the extremely difficult part is letting go uh, of the process of you have these songs then you change them and then you rewrite them and then you change them mm. and you re-record them yeah. you scrap them then you bring them back from the dead and you find the right songs for the album and then there's that point like you're, you're mentioning that you have to just go that's it. Push them off into the world. Push them off into the schoolyard. It's their first day at school. Yeah. And uh, we did everything we did. We could. We did the best at the time, and we're pleased with it. And um, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's all actually. It, to be honest, it, it wasn't that much of a of a dramatic experience. It was nice just to okay. We've done these. These feel, this feels yeah. good. I think that's the benefit of the second album, is that we've done it before, where you agonise over something and is it right? Is it not? And there is only so much you can do and there is no right and wrong it's all just you, you need to trust your instinct when you're doing these things and I think it's a mistake to actually go back and and, re and to second guess yourself I think that's actually where you start to to screw up the process right. so we've learned not to to do that too much then you're stuck with like a Chinese democracy <laughs> Axel Rose situation then you are Axel Rose good evening San Francisco <laughs> What has it been? About 18 months or so since it would be, yeah, yeah. So it was outside lands. Was, was the last right? time. The yeah. last time we were here was the Fillmore, if I'm correct. Oh, the Fillmore. Yeah, I don't know if you Fillmore. came to the Fillmore yes. show. Yes, I was. So that, yeah, that's probably well, that's, all, that's over 18 months. It's more yeah. like 20 months or something. So recording, okay. Mm -hmm. Writing, and okay. What about any personal activities? Did you go and do some rock climbing? What type of hobbies do you guys have to help you to get motivation and inspiration? I had an interesting experience, oh, uh, yeah, a near, a near death experience. <laughs> I went surfing um, out, there's an island off of Bali called Nusa Lembongan, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. And there are not really any cars, maybe a couple of cars, but most people get around on scooters or push bikes. Tiny population. And when you're there, you feel really isolated in a good way. And there's a few amazing surf breaks out there. So I, I, um, I went out for a surf one day and I surfed for a couple of hours and it was just starting to turn off, like the so it had been good, then it started to die out, and the tide was coming in. So we all started to go in, and I didn't have the local knowledge of this particular surf break, so I'm paddling for, it must have been a half an hour, getting absolutely nowhere, in fact, starting to drift out. Mm -hmm. And I looked around into where I was drifting out into, and it was this gulf, it was sort of like, almost out into open sea. Mm. And, um, and almost every other surfer had gone in, and I was starting to panic, running out of energy, and I felt this is actually, is this how it's going to end? Am I going to end like on a surfboard in the middle of like uh, the ocean out off of Bali? Luckily there were a few other surfers coming in and, uh, and they helped me find a channel that was actually easy to get through. But it was the closest I think I've ever come to facing my my mortality. You know, like, this, this could be it. So that wow. was a, that was an interesting experience. Yeah, I thought you were going to say there was a shark or you saw a fin or... You know, that's, you <laughs> and know, I punched the shark. Yeah. <laughs> I can change the I story. I was expecting we can, to see a yeah. scar. We can redo it. You can no, but you know, it was it was it was not as dramatic as that, but it still felt pretty dramatic at oh, the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell you. We're very much excited that you guys are back. Thank you. We are excited. New to music. Be. Uh, I would love to talk science with you guys, but you know, next time make a bunch of molecules jokes and those kinds of things. <laughs> but uh, the album sounds great. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. Congratulations on the release and, and best of luck for the rest of the tour. Cheers. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Keith and Michael from Atlas Genius. Inanimate Objects is the album. You're watching B Sides on Air. Cheers. Thank you. Hey, everybody, we are Atlas Genius. Thanks for watching our interview with B Sides. Make sure you subscribe. Here. Somewhere around there.